If you encounter a suspicious activity coming out from a source IP outside your local area network, then you can quarantine it. If you encounter a suspicious activity or maybe a host that is using too much bandwidth or doing something suspicious, then you can also quarantine it. Here's a guide to quarantine IP sources on your FortiGate. Coming up. Quarantine an IP source can seem a bit obvious. This is one of the fundamentals of every firewall out there. But there are some things that you need to know. So the very first way to quarantine IP source is to move to security fabric, logical topology. And when you hover near the device that you wish to quarantine, you can actually ban its IP or quarantine it if it is under a 40 switch or a 40 access point. The second way is to move to 40 view. On 40 view sources, just right click and ban the IP. Now let's ban it for 30 minutes. Once we do so, we can see all the banned IPs under the quarantine monitor. Here we can see the device. We can also release uh, our quarantine by right clicking on the device itself. We can also see the list of quarantine devices using the command line with the diag user quarantine list. And there we have our quarantine IP sources. Now you can also uh, choose a quarantine action in a security profile such as the IPS. So let's move to our security profile, IPS. Let's just choose the default uh, profile. And here in the action itself, we can actually change the action from the default action to the quarantine. Now, what happens when you choose antivirus? Your antivirus will actually recognize malwares, will recognize viruses using its signature database. But what happens to the source IP who sent the virus? Well, you can actually quarantine the source IP. You do it using the command line, config antivirus profile. Let's edit the basic profile. And now let's use config NAC quarantine. And let's set the infected source IP. And let's set the expiration time to 30 minutes. So not only that your antivirus will block viruses, it will also put the attacker, the attacker IP into a quarantine for at the time that you have chose. Now, the last thing to do is to actually configure a quarantine target that is based on the MAC address. To do so, we'll use the config user quarantine. All right, now let's config targets. That is the Mac target that we wish to actually block. Let's name our target PC1. And from here, let's just config the Mac address. So using the config Max, now let's just add it uh, let's imagine an address. Let's just uh, use C1 and FE, and the last one will be 1-1. One, one. All right. Now let's use next. And there we have it. We actually configured an address, which is a MAC address object, that whenever your FortiGate will see that address coming from anywhere, it will actually put it into a quarantine. 